Hi guys, welcome back to the Blood, Sweat and Gears YouTube channel. My name's Dingy Roger. Thank you for tuning in. Before we get into today's video, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and a comment if you enjoy the video. And if you're an existing subscriber, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. So, welcome back to the second episode in our Sauron Budget Build series. If you haven't seen the first video where we put the rear wheel on and gave it a test, that'll be on the channel. But this is my brother's bike. He's going to explain to you what the second mod is today. And today we're going to be going over the BAC 4000 controller kit. The BAC 4000 gives you an extra almost 1000 watts of power from the standard battery. From standard, the controller puts out 4800 watts of power and now I've got it running 5600, which is a huge difference. You also get a massive torque increase as a standard phase amps is 215 and the upgraded is up to 450. So under here is a BAC 4000. Right now we're going to take you back to last week when we were installing the controller and then after that we're going to do a top speed test and compare it to how it was with the standard controller, both using the stock battery. So this is the Emoto Bros tuner app for the BEC 4000 and 8000 for the Sauron and let me show you how easy it is to use. So once you've got your BAC uh, connected up to the Sauron and you've turned your bike on, if you click on this button called Controller Parameters, your bike should come up to connect to it via Bluetooth. Once you've clicked on this, you'll see this loading screen. So immediately you can see I've got the Sauron set up to have a considerable amount more power than stock whilst using the standard battery. As you can see here, I've got my max kilowatts to 5.6 with 415 phase amps. We purchased this kit off eBay second hand for a very good price of £650. It's quite budget friendly, especially considering that these are over £1,200 new. So now the egg rider is all set up, we're going to head out, do a top speed test as well as some acceleration tests, so stay tuned. Okay, so now we're out. This is set to 5.6 kilowatts, which is a big upgrade over the 4.8 that it comes with. And it's set to 415 phase amps. So now we're going to do a 0 to 10, 0 to 20, 0 to 30 and top speed test. And we'll compare that to the stop, uh, stop uh, times that we've got previously. Okay, so now we're going to do the same test at uh, 250 phase amps and 4.8 kilowatts. This bike came standard. Remember, we've got the bigger wheel, so the results might vary to yours. But because we've got a before and after on, on this bike and this configuration, the results show an accurate percentage of increase, which will still apply to your bike. So I'm going to go to the end of the road and then I'm going to turn around and we'll do it coming back the opposite way. I'm going to start in exactly the same place too. So here are the figures from the timed runs and top speed. You might want to pause your screen now, but the top speed was 43 and 0 to 40 was 9.26. So on the upgraded power, you can see we have a three miles per hour top speed increase, as well as we shaved two seconds off our 0 to 40 time and almost half a second off our 0 to 20 time. On the way back on a longer stretch of road, I managed to actually get up to 56 miles per hour. The car's pretty accurate, but there is a slight downhill. Overall, I think the BAC 4000 is a great upgrade for your Sauron, especially if you can get a cheap deal like we have. It's made the bike way more powerful and better for trail riding. The only thing it now lacks is range. So next week, we're going to be talking about the best budget fork options for your front suspension on the Sauron. So we hope you've enjoyed today's video, guys, and hopefully it's given you a good understanding of the power increase you can get by just using the stock battery and an upgraded controller. Yeah, and uh, feel free to leave any comments and thumbs up the video if you have any questions. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Instagram. We do answer any questions you ask us on Instagram DM. If you've got any uh, technical questions about your bike, we'll be happy to get back to you. 
and stay tuned for the next video which will be dropping next week